What's going on, you beautiful, sexy people? I am uh, I am taking a leisurely stroll, and I wanted to share something that I know is benefiting me. It's benefiting me. Let me turn this off, because I got a bunch of road noise. Um, it is benefiting me immensely because... Quiet that decline. Sorry. Because it's the truth. And I'm going to share it with you. <coughs> and you might not get it now. And you might not get it ever. But hopefully you'll get it. Patience. Patience. The one area that I lack patience is, is inside my own circle, my family. I have zero patience with them. Uh, before my grandmother passed away, I remember her always telling me, have patience, calm down, relax, take it easy. And and that is the one thing that I'm working on, having patience with my kids, especially having patience with them. <coughs> well, let me tell you something. If you do hard work, and I'm not talking about busting rocks and bricks and all that other crazy stuff. I'm saying if you do good, legitimate, hard work, you mean you do your all, meaning that if you work a nine to five and your goal is to become some type of top level executive or management or whatever the hell they do in, in a regular job, which I've never held in my life, um, get there on time, leave on time or leave later. Uh, volunteer to do additional work, uh, take on tasks that might not necessarily be yours, and when those promotions and those other things come around, apply for them. Um, and you do this on a regular basis, meaning take it day by day, uh, it will pay huge dividends. Um, the same thing I believe for my kids. Um, I would have a bad habit of Silas saying, Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. And I would say, hold on, I'm busy, I'm doing something, you know. And whatever I was doing wasn't like life or death. I don't think I've ever done anything life or death. I've, I'm not a, I'm not a brain or a heart surgeon, so there's absolutely really nothing that's life or death. But for my son to call me and say, hey, come here, come here, to him, that's very important. And to me, it should be just as important. So exercising patient with my kids is not only uh, a way to build a relationship with them, but it's also a way for me to uh, build a bond with them where I am showing support for whatever it is that they're doing. But that's what I wanted to share with you is patience. I'm learning that right now, that patience patience will get you everything. The lack of patience typically is the reason why most people lose. Patience, and I always go back to weight loss because I think that's the thing that most people struggle with. Um, you know, when you go to a restaurant, you have a choice and a decision to make when you order your food. If you want the hamburger, that's fine. You have a decision. Um, I remember we ate hamburgers in, you know, on a vacation, and they had an option for lettuce. Well, who the fuck eats a hamburger on lettuce? You got to be one psychotic asshole. I'm not a psychotic asshole, but I had to make a decision at that time, and the decision I made was for my health and to still enjoy what the rest of my family was enjoying, but enjoy it in a different way. I made a decision. Or when it's time to get something to drink, you you have soda, you have liquor, you have water, you have tea, make the right decision. But because our patience is so short, we feel like that one soda does nothing to affect us when in reality it's an accumulation of making that bad decision and, and not exercising that patience to see it pay off each decision, one decision at a time each day um, is the reason why you're losing.
it is the reason why you're losing. It's the reason why I will win is because I am choosing. And I remember this conversation, the long and the short game. And I did not know what the hell that meant at the time. But the long game has everything to do with patience. And when you play the long game, kind of like this guy out here selling corn, he could be playing a long game. He's got a whole damn truck full of corn. But if you play the long game, not only does it build a, a resistance and a discipline inside of you, playing the long game also allows you to build something that withstands the test of time. I was reading about Andrew Carnegie. I was reading about Alexander Graham Bell. I was read. I don't know. I was reading about all types of people this morning. Jackie Wilson. I was reading about anybody and everybody. Don't even get me started. I get into Wikipedia and I'm in there hanging out, looking up everybody. I looked at Helen Keller. I wanted to see what Helen Keller looked like. I had no idea that she had lived to be an adult, a scholar, and and write books. When she was born, shortly after after birth, she was blind. Uh, she was blind. She was deaf, and she was dumb. Literally. Try that one on. Blind, deaf, and dumb. Oh, shit. I can't even talk sense into you. Right? Patience. The long game. The money that lasts. The relationships that last. The family legacy that lasts is built around patience. And patience will build a sound foundation and a fundamental mind. The reason why the, the failure rate of most lottery winners is so high is because the immediate gratification came with nothing. It came with no discipline. It came with no sacrifice. The only thing you sacrificed was $1.25 or $2 or whatever the hell it cost to buy a lottery ticket. That was your sacrifice and that ain't nothing. Because you would have blew that on a Starbucks. Uh, well, Starbucks ain't blowing it. <laughs> you would have blew that on a, on, a, on a Red Bull. So keep that in mind. Always. I, 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 listen, I don't say this enough, but comment. If you have something that you want to contribute to what I'm saying, if anybody's watching it, secretly watching it, outwardly watching it, fucking comment. Don't sit back in the shadows like secretly admiring it. I want to hear what you have to say. Speak up. I'm always talking to myself. Patience. It is it is a fucking it's a game changer. It's a game changer. If you put in the work every single day and you have patience and faith that it will work out, you will propel yourself, you will propel your family into another atmosphere. I strongly believe it. I know this to be true. I know this to be true. I know it. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful day. Remember, comment. Throw up a like real quick. That'd be dope. And uh, if you're looking at this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and uh, get on board. Because I'm going to be shooting out a bunch of this good information on a regular basis. Stay blessed. Take care.